Welcome to the final episode of 8-Bit Simulation. Don't stress out. In this episode, we'll take the results from our previous CFD analysis and import them into Autodesk Simulation Mechanical to run a thermal stress analysis. But first, our video game challenge. Just comment on our Facebook page with your favourite 8-bit game of all time for your chance to win a great retro prize. Since we've already run the thermal analysis, setting up the thermal stress analysis will be a piece of cake. We'll start by pressing the Generate Mesh button. It's important to keep in mind that the same CAD geometry from CFD should be used with SimMech in order to transfer loads accurately. With the part meshed, we will have to define our materials. Just like last time, the body will be created from silicon, the teeth of steel and this time the insides will be quartz. Next, let's define our loads. Entering the analysis parameters, make sure there is a one in the gravity and thermal load case multiplier columns. Click the set for standard gravity button on the acceleration tab, and then from the thermal tab, choose Autodesk CFD file for the source of temperature. Pick the results from the CFD thermal analysis and press OK. The last thing we need to do is define our boundary conditions. Choosing the top surfaces of each tooth will apply a fully fixed constraint and then press Analyze. After a quick analysis, we see that just due to temperature change, the Metroid is already seeing over 6,000 psi stress. No wonder they are so easy to blow up once they are frozen.